With seven and a half weeks left of summer, it's not too late for a last minute getaway. I know you're thinking, yes it is. No, it's not. Because we know Emily Kaufman, founder of The Travel Mom. She joins us now. Hi, Emily. Hi, good morning. It's great to be with you. Summer is still very much in full swing. Okay. And I've got some great suggestions, whether you're a family or a group of people, maybe you're looking for a romantic getaway. I've got some ideas that won't break the bank. Well, you know what? You sent me a list. I'm going to look at this. I like Camelback. Uh, are you talking about Camelback Resort? I am talking about Camelback Resort. If you're looking for family fun, you cannot beat this fantastic resort in the Poconos. They're voted the number one indoor water park by USA Today. And I'm a big water park enthusiast. I don't think water slides are just for kids. I don't know about you, but... I'm definitely one of those people that's on the water slides. And they're opening up two brand new zip lines, a brand new thrilling water park ride. And here's the thing that I love. It's a great value because if you go midweek, it's about $219 a night, but that includes two days of admission into Aquatopia, oh. the water parks. So it's a fantastic value. And let's say you want to be outdoors, adjacent to them is Blue Mountain, and you want to camp or glamp, you can get out there. They've got a bungee trampoline system. They've got biking trails, ropes, courses, truly something for every type of family in the Poconos. Is that the same thing as Camelback Beach? Because we're kind of looking at that beach video there. Yep, they're all, it's all the same. It's okay. the same thing, the same resort, the same easy escape. And as the weather cools off, keep in mind, in the fall and winter, it's always 72 degrees and balmy and comfortable at an indoor water park. Yeah. It, what's Aquatopia? Aquatopia is the name of the water park okay. itself, where there's water slides and lazy rivers and all kinds of water fun. So that admission comes with the purchase of your hotel stay. Oh, I got so you. it comes on the day you arrive and the day you depart. So it really is a good bang for your buck. Emily, I, it seems to me it would be too late to book a cruise, but is it? Oh my gosh, cruising is such an amazing value right now. For one price, you get your accommodations, your activities, your meals, so you can't beat it. I found deals on the MSC Davina for a three-night sailing for August and September for $109 per person. That's for the entire wow. three-night sailing. If you want to go seven nights, $249. So cruising is fantastic. You only pack and unpack one time. You're magically transported to a different destination every day. You don't have to think so much. It's all about letting loose oh, and having true. fun. Big cruise enthusiast. No thinking and eating. That's up my alley. Um, now, I, I, is, this, I mean, is this French? What is the beach motier? Oh, that was very fancy French. You almost got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wanted to tell you about Hotels.com. Hotels.com has launched and curated this section on their website and on their app with retro beach motels. They've undergone these glow ups. So beach motels are a great way to have that beach vacation without spending the big amount of money to be at a beach resort. And if you go to Hotels.com slash beach motel, they are looking for somebody to be the reviewer of these retro beach motels. Oh. So they're going to give $10,000 in Hotels.com gift cards for you to use to review these, plus a $5,000 stipend. So I just took a little road trip. I live in California, went to one of those beach motels. It was so beautiful. They really have so much to offer. They yeah. had complimentary breakfast. They had bikes I could ride. So reconsider maybe that beach motel that's trip. fun i like the retro yeah. look of some of those too yeah uh, they're really fun emily always good to see you thank you thanks for having me all right